Hi, this is Dr. Jewel Williams, one of the lead pastors of Abundant Life Worship Center. We're located at 7701 South Exchange in Chicago, Illinois, 60649. So I'm sharing with you in this series what I'm calling the glory killers. And so we need these are things we need to stop doing in this year. So I've already shared we need to stop being opinionated. We need to stop being so quickly offended and then holding on to that offense. We need to seek help where, where we have doubts so that the comfort of the Lord can help us to have an assurance and a faith in Him. And we need to be willing to do the work that He has called us to do. And then we need to stop living by comparison. We have to stop living by comparison. And so today's glory killer is rejecting your uniqueness. And the meaning of uniqueness is this quality of being the only one, the one of a kind. And really this rejection of our uniqueness really um, ties in from last week's when we talked about this comparison thing. And once you stop comparing and understand who you are and your uniqueness, um, I think also that you would come out of that spirit of comparison. And so we're talking about your uniqueness. Stop rejecting your uniqueness. Psalms 139.14 says this, Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. Marvelously complex. You know, I believe in this year and this season that God is saying he wants his children to start really kind of saying that to yourself. I am wonderfully complex. I am wonderfully complex. I am wonderfully complex. The way I think, how I think about things, how I interact with things, um, you know, how I see things, all of those are part of the complexity of who God made me to be. And he wants to use my gifts through through that uniqueness. You know, as a prophet, I may see and do something different than prophet B does. But guess what? Does it make me any less a prophet than that person? No. I am wonderfully complex. And God is saying, stop rejecting your complexity and, and, and looking at it in a horrible way. Even if there's areas of weakness that need to be fixed, that's fine. But he made you this way. He made you uniquely complex. And I'm not talking about he made you sinful. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the way you think and how you think about things. He made that complexity about you, your, your, at the attributes that he's put in on the inside of you, the attitudes and things. Now, the things that need to be fixed, let him fix it because he's the creator. Since he made you so complex and wonderfully complex, take all of that back to him and say, God, what do I do with it? You know, why do, why do I feel so deeply about things? So fix the stuff that needs to be fixed, but don't, don't change my heart for being compassion. I want to stay compassion, but maybe I don't want to be so easily offended. So help me in those areas so that I work it out and walk it out the way that you want me to do. John 1 18 says, no one has ever seen God. But the unique one, who is himself God, is near to the Father's heart, who has revealed God to us. See, Christ was the unique one. He was unique, and we are constantly saying we want to be more like Christ. He walked in his uniqueness as a son. He walked in his uniqueness as the Savior. He did the things that he was supposed to do. He didn't. They rejected him. They talked about him. They ridiculed him, but he walked in his uniqueness. God is for this year saying they may ridicule you. They may talk about you. They may laugh, laugh about you. They may think you a little cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. They may think you crazy about the things, but he said that's okay. You walk in your uniqueness. You be the unique one. You be the unique one and show up to be the answer to some questions that God has in the lives of some people. He said, don't reject your uniqueness. Bring your uniqueness to me, even in our worship. When you come before God, bring all of you. Bring your uniqueness to him and let him refine it because that is what he wants to do this year in the glory. Part of what he wants to do in the glory, in the presence, in his presence, he wants to refine those unique things about you. He wants to blow on them and make them even better in this year. That's part of the better that's coming. Thank you, Jie Kandoro Bohosia. That's part of the better that's coming this year. He wants to refine the unique things about you. He's not hiding them. He's not um, uh, ashamed of them. He created them. So he wants to put them on display. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He wants to put them on display. You know, I, I am the 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 
person with the flower in my head. I, you know, if I don't go anywhere without a flower in my head. Why? Because I almost feel naked without it. But, you know, I want to give a natural example. See, I wear this flower all the time and to the point where people recognize me. They pick me out. Oftentimes, they see my flower before they see me. And I, you know, and this is what God is saying about the uniqueness. Your unique characteristics, who you are, that he's going to use them this year so that even when you go places, your character, who you are, is going to precede you. People are going to be like, where's that? person that sings the certain way where's that person that prays she prays a certain way he prays a certain way so part of who you are is going to go before you it's going people going to look for that even before they see you people are going to look for the uniqueness about you even before you show up in the place so don't reject your uniqueness go and be everything god has called you to be stop letting the enemy tell you something is wrong with you you're a little off you're a little crazy fit in stop trying to fit in this is the year of don't try to fit in don't try to be like everybody else be uniquely you because you are wonderfully complex just as christ was the unique one be that unique one in your situation be your unique one i'm not talking about being crazy and just you know awful i'm talking about uniquely you but take who you are to him so that he can refine it that's what he want to do this year you're gonna to have to go through some fire because you can't refine something unless it goes through the fire so if you go through some fires about your uniqueness count it all joy because god know he was using it to work something out in you thank you i'm speaking to myself because oftentimes i've been rejected and I've too often tried to want to fit in. But I'm not rejecting my uniqueness in this year. I'm going to be uniquely jewel. And those that appreciate it, appreciate it. Those that don't, don't. But guess what? You weren't called to everybody. Everybody is not going to receive you. So don't worry about it. Those that receive you and accept the gift of you, their life will be the fuller for it. Those that don't, that's all right. It's okay. You don't have to be a blessing to everybody. You just be a blessing to the ones that God sent you to that will receive the uniqueness of you. That bless me. Father, we thank you for making us unique. Thank you for making us fearfully and wonderfully made. And thank you for making us so complex that you that, that, that we're not one dimensional. There are so many aspects of us. There's so much of our character that you're building and working on and bringing out. And so that those that are ready to receive the uniqueness of us, their lives are the fuller for it. Their lives are the blessed for it. So Father, help us not to dummy ourselves down. Help us to let the glory, because we want to be glory carriers. That means we have to allow your glory to shine upon us. Father, Father, just as like I have this flower in my head, Lord, let your glory precede me so that when people see me, they will look for the glory that they know is on my life even before they see me. Father, we thank you today, Lord God, that you are a good God, a wonderful God, a mighty God. So, Father, I thank you. I pray right now, Lord, that there are those that that are rejecting their uniqueness because they've been beat up for it and they're feeling battered. Father, I speak your blessings over those that have felt uh, ridiculed and rejected because of their uniqueness. Father, I pray that you would help them to step up and be bold. Breathe new life into them. Give them the ability to say, I am who I am because God has made me. And he has made me so that I can show his glory, so that I can be unique in everything. Father, bring out the unique talents, the unique songs the the unique plays and movies and books there's uniqueness in 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 one of a kind types of things uniqueness that you have on the side of your children bring it out and let it be a, a like a jewel and a, a blessing to those that receive it so father we say thank you in jesus name we pray amen don't let the devil lie to you about how your wonderful complexity or how uniquely made you are God doesn't want you or me to be a poor substitute of anyone else. So walk in your uniqueness so you can experience the glory of God in your life. So until next time, may God's glory be revealed and manifested in you.